सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट द ऑडियो बुक पूर्वी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर ग्रेड सिक्स पेज नंबर सेवेंटी फाइव यूनिट थ्री नर्चरिंग नेचर चैप्टर वन नीम बाबा लेट इज डू दीज एक्टिविटीज बिफोर वी रीड वन A tree is useful to us in many ways. Mention some of these uses. Write them in the picture. On the top of this page, a tree is shown. On the right-hand top of the page, important information is given. It reads as some parts of trees are used in preparing medicines. There are three empty spaces. Fill in the blanks. Two. Neem is a common tree in our country. Discuss in groups of four, and fill column A and B with what you know about the neem tree and what you want to know. On the bottom of this page, a box is shown with column A and column B. Column A reads as "What do you know?" Column B reads as "What do you want to know?" There are four blank spaces under both the columns. Fill in the blank spaces. Page number seventy-six. Let us read. Amber returned from school and sat down in the shade of the neem tree in her courtyard. She felt that the tree was whispering to her. She looked at the tree and spoke to the tree. On the right-hand top of this page, a neem tree is shown. Amber is sitting under the tree and talking to the whispering neem tree. Part one. Amber. Namaste. I am Amber. I would like to talk to you. May I? Neem Baba. Sure. Dear Amber, I know you. You played in my shade in your childhood. You may call me Neem Baba. <laughs> Amber. I have seen you almost everywhere. Please tell me something more about yourself. Neem Baba. I am very old. I was born millions of years ago, somewhere in North India or Myanmar. Soon. My family spread outside India. Amber. Outside India? Where else can Neem be found? Neem Baba. My family can be found in many Asian and African countries, and even in some parts of America. Amber. Huh? That's wonderful. Who gave you your name? Page number seventy-seven. Neem Baba. The story of my name is very thought-provoking. I was born in India and given Sanskrit names such as Arishta, the one who cures diseases, Nimba, and Nimbaka. The name Neem is given by the Iranians. Amber. <gasps> really? Neem Baba. Yes. In Hindi, my name is Neem. In India, I have other names: Neem, Limba, Nimori, Nimba Mond. Nimbe and Nemo. Amber. You are so well known. That is wonderful. Neem Baba. Dear Amber, we become well known for what we do. People find us useful, and that is why they know us. Scientists call us. Bitter grace of God, nature's gift to man, and cleanliness parting tree. 
Some even call us magic trees. And the tree of the 20th century. Word meaning. Thought-provoking. Interesting. Grace. Blessing. Let us discuss. Umber found many facts about the Neem tree from Neem Baba. Fill up the fact sheet based on what Neem Baba told her. Page number 78 On the top of this page, a box is shown with the title, Let us know our name. Common name, blank, given by. Period of birth, blank, blank. Born at, blank, blank. Found in, blank, blank. Common names, fill in the blank, fill in the blank. Names given by scientists, one, two. Names given by others, one, two. Fill in the blanks. Part two. Umber. I know that people clean teeth with your twigs and protect clothes with your leaves. Some time back, when my brother had measles, the doctor told us to put neem leaves on his bed and make him lie down on them. Can you explain why? Neem Baba The doctors know that neem leaves have chemical properties that destroy germs. Measles cause itching all over the body. Neem leaves give comfort and do not allow germs to breed. Neem leaves, bark, flowers, fruits and even roots can be used to make medicines to cure many diseases. Word meaning Twigs Small thin branches Measles Disease with fever and red spots on skin Itching Feeling the need to scratch. Breed. Grow. Page number 79. Umber. Yes, I once had a cough and I could not breathe properly. My grandmother cured me with a medicine made from neem bark. And when my father had itching in the eyes, she prepared a kajal from neem flowers which cured him. Neem Baba. Oh, little Umber, you know so much. <laughs> Remember, these remedies are to be used only by people who are well trained and have a lot of experience. Umber. Yes, I will. Tell me, Neem Baba, is there any use of Neem for the farmers? Neem Baba. Yes. If the powder of neem seeds is mixed in water and sprayed on plants and trees, then locusts don't eat them. If it is used in rice fields where water remains standing, it stops mosquito breeding and helps to increase crop yield. It also saves the crop from termites, which eat roots of the crop, and it also stops breeding of other insects that eat crops. Umber That means if we put the powder of neem seeds in stagnant water around our homes, mosquitoes won't breed in them. This must be a cost-effective method to stop mosquitoes from breeding. Please tell me other uses of neem in our daily life. Word meanings Locusts Flying insects that damage crops. Termites. Insects that damage wood and buildings. Stagnant. Not flowing. Page number 80. Neem Baba. Of course. People save their stored grains from insects by adding neem seed powder to them. Neem oil is also used to make soaps and toothpaste. Furniture made from neem wood is not eaten by termites. Neem also purifies the air. 
there are many qualities yet to be discovered. Will you discover them when you grow up? Umbar. Yes, Neem Baba, I will. <laughs> Thank you for your time today. Neem Baba. Bless you, my child. Adapted from Neem Baba by S.I. Faruqi. Word meanings. Cost effective. Good outcome in least amount of resources. Purifies. Removes harmful particles. Let us discuss. 1. How is neem useful to farmers? 2. Mention some of the uses of the neem tree. Page number 81. Let us think and reflect. 1. You just heard about the neem tree. Write any two facts that surprised you the most. 2. Complete the following sentences. A. The old man asked Amba to call him Neem Baba because... Dash. B. Neem seed powder protects crops from... Dash. C. Dash is a cost-effective method to stop mosquitoes from breeding in stagnant water. D. One reason why doctors advise us to use neem leaves for someone suffering from measles is... Dash. 3. Why can Neem Baba not remember the year when he was born? 4. Which parts of the Neem tree are used to make medicines? Let us learn. 1. Study these words from the text. Something. Well known. Childhood. Neem oil. Grandmother. Well trained. Cleanliness. Parting. Seed powder, thought provoking. Put the compound words given above in their trees. These words are known as compound words. There are three types of compound words based on how the words are separated. Open compound words, spaces between the words. Closed compound words, no spaces between the words. Hyphenated compound words. Hyphens between the words. Page number 82. You may add some more words. There are three trees on the top of this page. The first tree reads as open compound words. Fill in the blanks. The second tree reads as closed compound words. Fill in the blanks. The third tree reads as hyphenated compound words. Fill in the blank. 2. Words that tell us what a person is doing are called verbs. In the table, match the verbs in the first column showing action in the present to verbs in the second column showing action in the past. Make a sentence with any one form of the verb. One has been done for you. Present Become, past, made, answer, D. Sentence, I want to become a teacher when I grow up. Present words, find, make, discover, tell, give. Past words, gave, told, became, found, discovered. Write the answer and the sentences in the space given. Page number 83. 3. Neem Baba speaks to Umber as if he's a person. This figure of speech is called personification. Let us look at some more examples. The leaves whispered in the wind. The flowers danced merrily in the breeze. Now, Discuss it with your classmates and teacher. Let us listen. You will now listen to a boy speaking to his mother. As you listen, select the correct statements. Refer to page 101 for transcript. A. The mother was surprised to know that People Baba had planted trees all over the country. B. 
the mother disliked the work being done by People Baba. C. The mother wanted to know more about People Baba. D. The boy decided to take care of trees by listening to People Baba's journey. E. The boy was worried about what his teacher had told him. Let us speak. Collect dry leaves of four different trees and plants around you. 1. Make one card as given. On the top, draw the shape of the leaf looking at the dry leaf and color it. Inside the card, write the name of the tree or plant the leaf is taken from and one of its uses. 2. Now, speak about the whole process of making the card in front of the class. 3. Ask your classmates to identify the leaf and tell them one of its uses. After the answer, open the card and share what you have written. On the right-hand bottom of this page, there's a picture of a tree leaf. Page number 84 Let us write. You have heard about Neem Baba and learnt many things about the Neem tree. Find a few trees in your neighbourhood and write a paragraph about any one tree that you like. Where it is? Roadside, park, etc. How does it feel? Height, tree trunk, leaves, flowers, etc. Why do you like it? Shade, medicinal properties, shelter, beauty, etc. Give a title to your paragraph. Let us explore. When people from Persia came to India and saw that a common tree of their country was freely growing here, they started calling the tree Azad Darakte Hindi. So, the scientific name of Neem in Latin became Azadi Rakta Indica. Neem has different names in Indian languages. Discuss with your teacher and find out which Indian languages these names belong to. There's a table on the bottom of this page. Name, Indian, Nimb, Nim, Limba, Nimori, Nimbamond, Nimbe, Nemo. Write the names of different Indian languages these names came from. Purvi, you were just listening to this audiobook. Textbook of English for grade 6. Narration, Babla Kocher and Richa Sayal. Technical coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist, Manju Kumari. Assistance in production, Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Choudhury. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.